everybody, welcome back to Cocktail Corner. Today, we are going to be making a Jamaica Mezcalito. Uh, this is a cocktail that's going to feature some mezcal. Uh, mezcal, if you're not familiar with, is uh, agave-based spirit that is very earthy and tends to be a little smoky. Um, if you're familiar with te tequila, which almost everybody is, uh, tequila is made in Jalisco. Uh, Mexico and it has to be made of a certain kind of agave. Uh, mezcal, however, can be made of other kinds of agave in other provinces of Mexico. Um, it can have a lot of different flavors and characteristics to it. Uh, and it's quite an interesting spirit to get involved in. Uh, if you haven't tried it, I suggest you do because it's a, it's a world that you can open up to a lot of possibility. Um, today we're going to use some Oaxaca. Uh, this is a very delicious mezcal that we enjoy here at Spirit Sears. Um, this drink uh, is called a Jamaica Mezcalito because it uses Jamaica tea or hibiscus extract tea. Um, this is a very popular Mexican drink or just kind of a dessert for it. Um, if you've ever been to like an authentic Mexican restaurant, sometimes they'll offer Jamaica drink um, and it's just hibiscus extract. Uh, they steep hibiscus flowers in water and make kind of a tea and then sweeten it down. And we're going to use that. We've made our own today. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, mix it all up and give it a try. We're going to shake this drink. So we'll go into our shaker. Uh, we're going to do an ounce of our mezcal. To this, we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of Stabentun liqueur. Um, Stabentun liqueur is a Mayan uh, liqueur. It's made in the Yucatan from uh, Stabentun flower nectar and honey, and then added to rum for the alcohol base. But it is really tasty uh, if you've never had it. I suggest if you can find a bottle, give it a try. It's got a lot of floral, um, very sweet. It's got a lot of like black licorice kind of anise flavors to it. Uh, very good in a lot of drinks uh, that call for tequila or mezcal. It, they really pair well with each other, uh, as well as a lot of other drinks for them. Um, to that, we're going to add uh, an ounce and three quarter of our Jamaica tea or Jamaica syrup if you want. nice and red. And then we're going to add some citrus uh, in the way of lime to this and then it's going to be a quarter ounce. Just a little bit here. The Jamaica tea or the hibiscus tea is pretty sweet. We add uh, sugar to it so you don't need a lot of any other sweeteners to it. Uh, the Chauvin tune is pretty sweet as well. So uh, to this we'll add some ice and give it a good shake. The uh, hibiscus syrup makes it a nice deep red color. We're going to strain this into a rocks glass. Uh, we're going to throw in a kind of a big cube here. A nice deep red there. It's pretty. Uh, and then we're going to garnish it with a slice of orange. Mm -hmm. 
Let's hang that bad boy off the side there. And that is the Jamaica Mescalita. Let's uh, give it a taste and see what we're going for here. Uh, a lot of orange on the nose, obviously from the garnish. Um, the mezcal comes through with its agave, smoky, earthy flavor on the nose. That is really good. Uh, the hibiscus tea is actually quite tart. Um, if you've never had it before, it's pretty... Uh, without sugar, it's really tart. Uh, almost to the point where it's almost too bitter to enjoy but you put a little sugar in and it actually kind of livens up a little bit the uh the mezcal and the shaban tune work really well to bring out the herbal and floral flavors that go along with that um and the, again the uh jamaica or the hibiscus is just really good on its own it's kind of an interesting floral flavor uh with it um it's not too tart but it's nice and tart i guess that's kind of a weird way to describe it but uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's overly sweet. It's almost like a sour candy um, without the overly sweet uh, characteristic of it. A hint of smoke from the mezcal, but not too overpowering. Um, not like you were drinking like a really smoky scotch. It's, it's, it's a little mellowed out. Uh, but otherwise, very delicious. Um, probably could have gone, toned it down with the orange a little bit. Uh, maybe just an orange peel in there would have been okay. That's what the recipe called for, so that's what we did. But yeah, uh, give it a try. Very tasty. Um, it's uh, nice and refreshing. Go ahead and uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments below, if you like it or don't. And then uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We hope to see you again. Thanks a lot, everybody.